Good morning, Leo. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. As I record this, it is January 1st, 2024, 9, 17 a.m. if you even need the time. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. But of course, you will find this reading when you're meant to find it. And some of you, that might be in three years. So tell me, future person, what it's like when you come back. Make a comment. I love seeing uh, people who comment on readings way in the future. Um, looking back. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. All right, Leos, thank you guys. Uh, Coming March 1st, it'll be three years I've been having this channel and doing these readings, thinking only five people were going to show up. I was actually happy with five people showing up. I was like, wow, that was a lot more than I thought would show up. So I want to say I thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, Some of you have been with me from the very beginning, and I really appreciate for for the loyalty, you know, loyalty is a rare commodity in today's world. So thank you guys. I love you guys. All right. Tarot, the mystical moments for the main deck, golden art nouveau tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Knight of cups and the nine of cups. Say that three times quickly. Knight of cups, nine of cups, nine of cups, nine of cups. So both Pisces energy. Pisces season might be a very romantic time. You know what I got the feeling here? Nine of cups can be a single energy and a knight of cups is willing to put themselves out there. I feel like restoration in love, restoring, uh, restoring what you think love is, you know, or ch- believing in love again. And that knight of cups is a very romantic energy. Below that, six of swords reverse and the chariot. Two movements okay so we have the chariot but then we have a six of swords reverse almost feels like somebody brings themselves all the way up and then second guesses how they second guesses what to do with it i feel like you have new i have feel like somebody's going to reveal how they feel to you leo sun moon rising venus leo if you are a leo know a leo feel like being a leo leos i'm glad you're here you could be a Leo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could resonate as the main story and Leo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Leo or for a Leo. Take it as it resonates. Collective energies for my lovely Leos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Leo. Isn't it January 1st, the beautiful energy? Everything is still ahead of you. Holidays, anniversaries, birthdays, um, celebrations, vacations, memories to be made. Everything has it it's like all these things to look forward to you know i love it it's a very hopeful time i woke up with a a little light i was light in my step today uh it was a bit heavy yesterday and then today i just feel like everything fell away i love it anyway leo sun moon rising venus what is the story that needs to come out today for leos what do they need to know what do they need to know saint shuffle one more time there you go leo we never ignore that voice right all right what is the energy they need to know and be aware of okay you got two that flipped actually you got more than that oh wow look at this two majors and a king of swords interesting enough if you look at these cards okay and I call these bookends. It would be helpful if you want to see your own. Ooh, no, not that far down. You just see my water bottle. You know what? That's okay. Let me just move it. Let me move it out of the way here. Because um, I really want to show you guys this. So I call these bookends. I look at all the sword action. Star reverse, but a four of swords upright. I feel like you're moving into this lighter energy, knowing what it is you want. This king of swords female the 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 meaning the way she has the sewing needle in her hand she's taking the stars from above her she's focused it's on her crown chakra she's so focused and concentrated on what it is she truly wants she's no longer focused on the energies that can't give it to her or the past she's it's forward thinking but she takes those stars and puts them on her gown so she'll never lose her way again and it's not about one wish coming your way but it's 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 it feels like a major manifesting time is what it feels like. So I feel like you have all these, because of one event that happens, you have all these other points that are going to, it's like a domino effect of happiness happening. And that is the judgment. And then it causes this tower reverse. So where I'm going with this is some of you Leos aren't there yet. I'll be honest. When you watch this, you might not be in this energy yet. You might be in this energy. Star reverse. 
it's almost faking it for some of you faking it and what you're currently doing but inside you're realizing something's just not aligned to you anymore that's what it feels like star reverses is, is and because we have judgment it's you can't lie to yourself you can't convince yourself th that you're happy in your career or happy in a certain stage in life or happy in a relationship or happy being single whatever it is so you have the king of swords and the judgment and at some of you this is a a, a, a connection coming in or an offer coming in that causes you because it feels like cause and effect here so the effect is you letting something go that you've been carrying See how the, she's holding on to this tower? And every time this card comes up, I always say it feels like judgment because judgment is instant growth. Once you really open, you open your eyes to the truth of a situation, you can't look at it differently anymore. So the truth is, is even if this tower was intact, she's outgrown it. And the problem has become her. I mean, if she, if you look, she's literally become the destruction, but when it's reversed, she lets it fall because it's just too hard. It's, it's, it's not aligned to you anymore. So I, which causes a four of swords and four of swords is light as a feather. So where I'm feeling this is something, and these are the cards that fell. Something is coming into your life. It could be a new person. It could be a new job. It could be a new idea that's saying, you know what? this is really where I want to be. And it, some of you are letting a job go or a relationship go or, or some type of situation go that's going to bring a lot of peace and happiness in your life. King of Swords and a Four of Swords. Here you got your Queen and King of Swords, your masculine fen fen fenergies. There, there, that's a new word, fenergies upright, which makes it a lot more easier in going towards where you really belong. So that's where... That's where, a long story short, that's what I was feeling here. So let me, because I have limited table space here. All right, what's influencing this King of Swords, Judgment, and the Tower Reverse? What's influencing this King of Swords, Judgment, and the Tower Reverse for Leo? Two more cards. Look at this, Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I said that. I feel like you guys have some type of offer that's going to make you believe and having something that you almost let go of the idea of having. It's kind of settlement. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you owe X amount of dollars to a, a company and you credit card company and you can't pay it for months at a time or years at a time or whatever. And a lot of times there are hospital bills or whatever. They'll settle for what they can get and they completely let go of what they really wanted. And some some Leos I feel like could have settled for what it is you feel like you can get in, a, in something in life. I'm not saying all the areas in life, but the, when I, who I'm reading for, and this is not gonna be for all Leos. So you know what? If you already have a 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles and you're rolling like Scrooge McDuck in the gold coins, this reading is not for you. But you have a 10 of pentacles coming in and you're deciding to say, you know what? I don't wanna settle for something I don't even want anymore. It's not aligned to me. It doesn't make me happy. I feel like you have a new idea or, or a new connection. Some of you, this is a love reading. Some of you, this is going to be a career reading. That's going to have you go in a different direction. And that direction is taking you straight to, yeah, look at that moon reverse and a nine of cups. You got two nine of cups, which is happily ever after. I feel like a lot of you are, have a new idea coming. That's going to have, you're going to hit the ground running. Look at that page of pentacles straight to the 10 of pentacles. I love it. But this is what is influencing it, this energy. Two of cups reverse, magician reverse, and a seven of wands reverse. This is heavy ass energy. Magician reverse is feeling powerless to change your current situation. Seven of wands reverse is almost too tired to even try. But there's your energy. It's, it's kind of, I really feel like there is an energy pushing you out of this. This could be a connection you're currently in, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is within the self. Two of Cups reverse is feeling disconnected uh, to where you really, to who you really want to be and the life you really want to have. And honestly, this is an energy that will, as heavy as this energy is to be in, it's actually a vehicle to get you out of it. Because you know, when you can't shake something off, you keep thinking about it. It's actually, what that is, is 
there's a push around you to get you out of this. That's why you can't stop thinking about it. That's why you might have these fantastical dreams or you might have these crazy ideas where you all of a sudden you start thinking about something you wanted to do 20 years ago. Some of you might go back to school, start a business, decide on a big career career move, something that's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So it's, it's really beautiful. As difficult as it might seem right now, it's actually very beautiful energy. Okay, what's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Leos? What's the reason for the reading for the Leos? Five of Cups. Feels like, it feels like waiting for your emotional Uber to take you to land. Five of Cups. See how she's holding that page of wands and I feel like as time goes by, the way I'm looking at this card, the flowers start falling like Beauty and the Beast. And some of you feel like you might be even running out of time for, could be having children or finding love or what it is you want to do. There's a lot of waiting it feels like in this Five of Cups. It doesn't feel like necessarily love to me. It just feels like I don't know how to get to that land, get back into to investing in myself again. It feels like stuck in the emotional waters and not enough in the earth energy over here. And the difference between this and this is your energy, is the desire to move forward. That's what it feels like. It, it There's a wand energy here that is really needed, a fire element that is really needed. There's too much stuck in the emotional waters, which is probably why we have a tower reverse. Also, it kind of really looks like a six of swords, doesn't it? Moving to a better place, going towards from this place to this place. And some of you feel like you're waiting for an offer to save you. Or if I only had this relationship, or if I only looked this way, or if I only had this in life, I could have that too. No, the truth is, is you have it in your hand. She's holding all the possibilities in her hand. And you don't want to waste those possibilities anymore. That's what it feels like. Bottom of the deck coming in is temperance a more balanced way of living. So, okay, this is already a lot of cards, Leo. What's in the past? What's in the past? I really feel like some of you thought, like for instance, maybe in 2023, you got into connections or in 2022 even or whatever. And it's just like, they're not really helping you or fulfilling you or doing what they promised to do leaving you here to deal with this all alone what's in the past here for leo page of cups hopefulness and why do i feel like childhood hopefulness the spark of curiosity of when i felt at a time in your life when you felt felt anything could happen some of you it's like you want that back again but you don't know how to get that back you want to get your inner magician back right and some of you are feeling like man so much decades have gone through it's never too late the, you know I, they say the battle is to what is that in psychology half the battle is realizing it I feel like that's actually all the battle I feel like most of the battle is the judgment card is saying you know what I see this now I don't want to keep giving to th this type of energy because I feel like I can't change I don't know how I'm going to change, but I'm going to do one step at a time. Tiny movements make the biggest waves, right? Um, that's what it feels like. It's like you guys are making small steps for big changes. And some of you, it needs to be small steps for you to acclimate and restabilize because you guys are very, don't forget you're a very powerful energy. You're a very powerful sign. You don't have to have it all figured out and you don't have to have it all your life to change overnight. It just little steps make the biggest movements and you are making, that's, that's the feeling I'm having here to get back into this energy page of cups. And I feel like that's within the self. What's on your mind? What is on your mind? Six. That's what I thought. Look at this. Look at this. Six of swords reverse and a five of cups upright. Six of Swords Reverse is not sure how to get to that other place. But when she's upright, it's within herself. Nobody's helping her get to that other place. She's focused on her star. She's focused on what makes her happy. That is the thing is focusing on what you have. What are your attributes? 
No longer focusing on what you don't have in life. What do you have going on? Everybody, every human on this earth has been given a gift. And if we all utilize those gifts, this world would be a much happier place. Um, but we were, you know, it's, it's something because I'm, I'm actually getting a strong masculine versus feminine energy. And you could be a man watching this when I say this, but the feminine energies, it could be the women watching or the men watching. You were told not to give into that energy. You were told not to give into fantasies or into dreams. You need to do something more based in reality. Even if it doesn't make you happy, that's just the way life is. Suck it up, Leo. You know, this is just how it's been done. And it's caused the Leo to feel disconnected and they don't know why and they don't know how to get that back. And maybe you guys found it in negative coping mechanisms and short-term band-aids that, you know, with the emotional aspect of it. And so on your mind is the Six of Swords reverse saying, I'm just, I now see, but I need help the, to push me over to build that momentum back. So I do feel like there's this emotion, like it, it's, it's like there spiritually and a big part of you is now waking up to what it is you want change. Right now you're wrestling, how do I do it? It's the how, right? What's the near future? What is the near future for the Leos? I, I'm getting a big career change here for some of you. Could even be going back to school. What's in the near future for Leos? What's in the near future for the Leos? King of Swords is getting clear and focused on one thing at a time. That's what a King of Swords does best. That when the king, when Aquarius energy comes out like this, and this is what flipped four of swords, you got your king and queen of swords upright again, masculine and feminine, feminine energy is upright and ain't going in the same direction within your life. Um, but the, when the, whenever you see this Aquarius energy, a king of swords, he's saying, listen, this card reminds you that it's all about the small steps in life, not the major, you don't have to take big leaps because you feel like you're gonna to get to that destination faster. You just have to take small steps. And every day, those steps are taking you further and further away from feeling powerless. In fact, I read somewhere that if you complete three things in a day, just three things, you feel, you feel so accomplished that day. You feel proud of yourself. You feel happier. You're less in your phone playing games and more out in the world. You might even you might go for a walk. You might even do more than three things. But it only takes doing three things a day. If it's cleaning something or organizing something or whatever it is, then puts you in that energy of really a magician energy. So remember that. And I feel like this is what you guys are focused on saying, you know what, what can I do today? how how do i best get out of the situation are you in a are you do you have you don't have two pennies to rub together and you dream of maybe financial freedom so do you need to go back to school and how can you go back to school if there's no money is there aid is there something is scholarships um different things there's resources always there but it's almost expanding how you know it's like it's like adding more tools into your toolbox than you were once giving. And some of you weren't given the right tools, maybe even from childhood, because I am getting that when I, when I see this. And I feel like when I was saying, talking about the feminine energy and I got sidetracked, it's just really feel, especially like women, you aren't told to stand up for yourself or speak your mind or, you know, that that's a manly thing to do. Women take it and women are supposed to make it better for other people. No, you need to make it better for yourself. You want to make it better for the people around you? Make it better for yourself first, right? That's what you're doing here. Say, no, I need to get myself in a place of power again. And something happens and you do. King of Swords and the judgment that causes you to let go of old paradigms old ways. I get a strong hierophant reverse. Even if you don't leave the family, you're leaving the family tradition of just take it, just keep doing it. That's just what we're supposed to do. You're leaving it. You're dropping it because it doesn't work for you anymore. Okay. How do you see yourself? Leos. Gosh, I am running out of table space. All right. How did, I'm sorry, it's just a lot of cards. I'm used to one card per position here. How do the Leo see themselves? 
How do the Leo see themselves? I said some of you are going back to school. Page of Swords, what is he sta standing on? He's standing on a bunch of books. He's learning. Even if you don't go back to school, you might be scouring the internet. You might be learning a new craft, a new hobby, how to do this. It's acquisitive. It's childlike. That's why he's holding a dandelion because he's allowing himself to even dream again, which is really powerful. Who said it? Steve Harvey said it. Dreams are the prequels, right? Dreams. Is that what he said? You can look it up, but it's a beautiful, I used to know it by heart and all of a sudden my brain is, dreams are the prequels to what's the main attraction, what's to come. And I feel like you guys shut off your dreams and saying it's it's childlike behavior. I need to do what I have to do to survive. Survival mode rather than thriving mode, right? Anyway, he's holding a dandelion and he's allowing the wish and he's allowing the manifestations. And guess what? That's a, that's a lot of a page of cups, isn't it? getting back into that energy and it takes that page of swords to get you now the momentum's going into the knight of swords some of you are being like wow and look at this the knight of swords into the empress into the new beginning three of pentacles you know it's amazing when you're procrastinating something because you feel like something's too difficult to do you think it's so far away and too difficult until you start making one tiny step and next day you might do two or three steps and the next day and by in a few months, your life could drastically change and you don't even know how you did it. You couldn't probably even explain how you did it. You just did it. All right. What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in for Leos they don't see coming? High Priestess. I don't. This is a quiet card, but it's a hopeful card. She's got the King of Cups waters. She's got herself upright and she's... Uh, it feels like emotional contentment, but I do feel with it being a major, a major arcana here, I do feel like you're going to keep it to yourself. I don't feel like you're going to speak on what's to come because it's not in your hand quite yet. But when it's in your hand, people will be like, wow, Leo, when did you do all this? I mean, to them, it's going to feel drastic, but I feel in the next three months, your life, you're going to make some small steps for big changes with what you're doing. Okay, what are in your emotions? What are in Leo's emotions? Ten of Swords reverse, overthinking. And remember, this is current, this is current, this is current. But this is the next step. It would help if you want, you want to see your reading, Leo. Sorry. Uh, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is, okay, what do I need to do next, Tara Lady? If you want to go back to school, do you want to go far away? Do you want to go down the street? Is there a degree you want to do. Um, that's what it just feels like. It's not having to have that degree. It's like, it's formulating and believe it. Like, where do you see yourself? Where do you want to see yourself by the end of this year? What's the outcome for Leo? What is the outcome for the Leos? What is the outcome for the Leos here? Page of Pentacles reverse. Remember the tower reverse? you're leaving something behind it's like leaving a, it's like rags to riches is what it feels like page of pentacles reversed to the king of pentacles upright i feel like actually when i look so the bottom of the deck is energy coming i honestly feel like this is the offer i feel like this is a very i maybe by taurus energy even even be well I feel like you're going to take an offer even by Taurus energy I'm getting strongly right now in Capricorn energy it's a two of pentacles reversed in the eight of swords stuck between a hard place and a rocky place but this page of swords leads to a communication coming back towards you and I feel there might be communication going back and forth with the high priestess and your intuition is saying, take the new. But you have to let go of the old. And you have to let go with the Ten of Swords reverse. You have to not care what people think. Okay? It's not other people's lives. It's your life. You're the one who has to live with the consequences, but you also get to live with the benefit of what can happen when you believe in yourself. You know? All right. Tower reverse. It's actually King of Swords, Judgment, and Tower Reverse in the center of the reading. King of Swords, Judgment, and the Tower Reverse at the center of the reading here for Leo. King of Swords, Judgment, and the Tower Reverse. Nine of Cups Reverse. 
This can be people, Nine of Cups reverse are just people you can't count on. Um, it's people who promise things that never deliver. And you even know that they didn't deliver, but you're just with, with the magician reverse here, it could be like, well, there's nothing better going on right now. It's also a realization within the self that there's something you really need in your life that you're currently not getting. And it feels like an emotional fulfillment of some sort. If it's within a relationship, within a career, within both. And it really, that energy is driving you actually out of this energy by making you really face it to do something about it is what it feels like. Magician reverse, seven of wands reverse, and the two of cups reverse influencing energy yep seven of swords reverse i feel like you could have busted somebody recently i do feel like somebody lied to you i feel like somebody manipulated you some of you could put yourself on hold for an energy and they could have went back to a past person or they didn't know what they wanted so they say they did know what they wanted it wasn't to build with you and you're saying you know what thank you because i don't want my time wasted I need to get myself out of the situation and into something better, which you really do in a big way. Okay, what is the Five of Cups reason for the reading? Five of Cups reason for the reading here. Two cards, Strength Reverse, and the Page of Wands Reverse. Look at that. I feel like you, you feel like you wasted your time. I feel like somebody wasted your time. And that, you know what? You can't change the past, right? You can't change yesterday. You can only focus on today. What do you want to do today? you know, you don't have to even worry about tomorrow, but what can you do today to focus, to get yourself out of this, this situation or this energy, not situation, but the energy of it is you focus on what you do have going on in your life. You can't be appreciative and also depressed for a lack of expectation at the same time. It's one or the other. If you're given into one, there's it's it's not enough of the other. When you're really appreciative of saying, you know what, at least I have this house over my head. At least I have these my kids. At least I have a good family. I have this. And this is where I'm you know what? I'm going to surround myself with this today. It's just I feel like that's you're that's what you're moving into. Look at that. The f 9 of wands reverse and the fool letting it go. I feel like somebody held you back. Honestly, I feel like somebody held you back. And nine of wands reverse is allowing the eight of wands to fly forward into this full energy. And it's, I, for some of you, I really do feel you're worried because you wake up today and it's like, gosh, it's still the heaviness of 2023 lingering over you like an entity. But I don't think it's going to stay for long with this. Nine of wands reverse and the fool. I feel like some of you are waking up to you don't want to waste your time anymore you don't want to waste your own time you don't want people wasting your time and it's really allowing yourself to look forward into new activities new things to do a new job like i said I, i'm getting strong school for some of you what is the page of cups in the past two cards again nine of pentacles reverse in the tower reverse tower it feels like settlement in a way but if this was, I want to move into a relationship for a second, because some of you, this is talking about a relationship or connection you've been in this past year to avoid a disaster, to avoid a fight. I feel like that nine of pentacles reverse. You just, you allowed somebody to treat you like that, that made you feel like that because of how it once was. I hope I didn't lose you. Some of you are so God, I'm getting strong narcissist vibes with all these seven of swords going on and a page of cups. It feels like somebody came in love bombing. Somebody came in being the knight that you thought they were leading to a king you thought that you hope they promised to be. And all they did was pull themselves away. And then you guys kept bending yourself into a pretzel to try to get that energy back. And it's gone. I feel like somebody intentionally manipulated that because that's kind of what they do. They, it's like they like the hook. They want to hook people, and this is how they hook people. What you're doing is getting yourself off their hook. You see them for who they are. An apology is not going to get you back on that hook. Nobody's ever going to get you back on that hook again because the judgment is here. So anyway, Nine of Pentacles reverse is a lack of self-care, honestly. And it, Tower reverse is, is you, you know, I don't want to cause a problem or I don't want to let this person go because it once was so good. The, it, it, but was it real or was it so real? Because I feel like with the Knight of Cups reverse here, I feel like they spinned you a fairy tale. What's the Six of Swords reverse on your mind? 
Six of Swords reverse on Leo's mind. And the Emperor reverse. Six of Swords reverse is having a hard time moving on from an energy, even if you see them for who they are. But that's part of the healing process. Emperor reverse can be, uh, you have, man, you got some serious narcissist cards. I, I'm, I'm just saying. You have two seven of swords reverse. You have a magician reverse and an emperor reverse. Do we need a devil upright? And you guys are dealing with Satan himself. You got the emperor reverse going on here. I feel like somebody likes to play mind games. Make you gaslight you. Make you think that you, it's you. You're the problem, Leo. No, it's not you. You're not the problem here. The problem, the real problem here is putting too much energy into those type of people that get you not believing in yourself. Once you start believing in yourself over here is what leads to true happiness, true freedom. Off of these, what the, what these energies are, this feels so manipulative and gross. What's the king of swords and the four swords in the near future? King of swords and the four swords in the near future. Taking that. And the page of swords reverse. Triggering energy right here. But this also feels like a meltdown with this emperor reverse. I feel like every time you start to pull yourself away, they try to get you back on that hook. And when you don't get on the hook, you're the problem. You're not the problem, Leo. I'm not saying you never were a problem. I mean, we all are guilty. And we all, you know, it's like we've all been the victims and the perpetrators in connections and relationships and in situations. But in this particular case, Page of Swords reverse. I feel like this, you got a lot of narcissistic cards going on. This feels like a total meltdown because you're standing up for yourself. And if you, if people don't respect your boundaries, they don't want you to have boundaries. Okay. Remember that if you don't remember anything else in this reading, remember that they don't want you to have boundaries. That's why they're throwing a hissy fit saying, you know, they're making you feel guilty for having boundaries. Anyway, Page of Swords, how you see yourself. Page of Swords, I feel like you're making small moves for big changes and it's out of this energy. And the Knight of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords reverse is exhaustion, cutting a chaotic energy out and getting more focused into what it is you and where you need to be. But Knight of Swords reverse, it is a very exhaustive card. And therefore, it's it's pulling yourself back and healing. What is the high priestess energy coming in you don't see coming? And the wheel of fortune upright. I told you, I feel like this is actually an offer, love offer, job offer. But I don't feel like you're going to speak on it right yet. You want your actions, unlike the energies you dealt with, you want your actions to speak, not your actual words. High priestess and the wheel of fortune. Give me another card there. And the devil up. Right. Devil, deep, all dependent on the cards it's attached to. It's intensity. Always, no matter who's reading you watch, a devil means intensity. If you have a devil with a magician reverse, that is a very intense, manipulative, control freak of a person, right? But a devil upright with a wheel of fortune upright with a high priestess, this is intense. Somebody is not backing down. This is saying, you know what? I am getting myself out of this energy. I'm finally feeling hopeful. I'm finally feeling like I can actually have what it is this somebody was withholding from you. And I feel like for some of you, it's straight up affection, you know, and you with the devil and the wheel of fortune, you're saying, you know what? I'm, I'm moving. Some of you might live with this person. I'm going back to school. I'm changing jobs, but I'm not going to speak on it until it's actually a reality. That's what I'm really getting here. Okay. Ten of swords reverse in your emotions. Ten of swords reverse in Leo's emotions. Two cards, five of pentacles. Yeah. Five of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Wands reverse. So tens in tarot talk about a cycle coming to an end. There's a major cycle coming to the end. What is that cycle? You're no longer taking other people's bullshit and feeling guilty about taking it because they didn't, they said you didn't take it well enough. And they're criticizing how, you know, it's like they're criticizing without actually helping. Uh, Ten of Wands reverse and the Five of Pentacles reverse is more money, 
a better fit, something more aligned to you, less burden, you're in the new ace. But it, this 10 being reversed tells me some of you are still in this, still in it, but you know you're soon going to be out of it. And because you know you're soon going to be out of it, it's making you feel like, a, you know, look at that five of wands reverse, four of pentacles reverse, lovers reverse, knight of pentacles reverse. It's kind of like, you know, you're almost there and it's like a secret for yourself that I, gosh, it just feels like it's, it's like, it doesn't feel like you're going to hold this for much longer. You just want, you know, like if you're trying to find a place to live or a different job, it feels like a matter of weeks, honestly, or less than. And I feel like you're, this energy is going to be completely blindsided. Page of Pentacles reversing the outcome here. Page of Pentacles reversing the outcome. And the Eight of Swords reverse, leaving something guilt-free. Eight of Swords reverse is feeling, not feeling guilty about this decision. You're no longer in your head. You know, you're Ace of Swords. You're very clear. In fact, you're a King of Swords. You're very clear on what it is you want. What you don't, what you don't want is what you've been doing. Page of Pentacles. I mean, this, this feels like something stunted your growth even. See when it's upright, how she's flourished and nurtured. You were in something that wasn't nur nurturing you and it's like it didn't even care that it didn't nurture you because it was good for them. So an eight of swords reverse is not feeling guilty about telling this energy no, about dropping this, rejecting whatever it is. I still feel silence. I don't even feel like there's a huge conversation. I just feel like you, your actions are going to speak louder than words in the next few months. And the Knight of Wands. Remember, reason for the reading is the Knight of Wands reverse, which is the Knight of Wands upright. You get the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Three of Swords reverse coming in. I feel like some of you are going into a really good job position. This feels for some Leos out there, it's going to be a relationship and job, but some of you need a better job to get out of this relationship or to get out of this house. If this is even a parent, you know, and you're like, I need to get out of my own, but you need to have money, right? You need to have a job. So Page of Swords tells me you're going to actually, you're making those small steps and making that first step to get yourself in a more, a better financial place so you can be, get yourself in a better emotional place. And then I want to say, I would bet my neighbor's house, Leo, by, by Pisces season, you actually have new love here too. But I, that wasn't like the main feeling. I feel like the biggest thing is getting yourself out of this magician reverse energy. And then I feel like this spring renewal energy is hitting your life because now you're finally in a place where you can make decisions in your own life. You know, you, you, you're not oppressed anymore and suppressed this, that this was a major oppression going on. And now you're finally free to live the life you really want to live. So that's what I have for you. Beautiful Leo's really long reading today for extended. I hope you guys have a great start to your new year. A great start to your Monday. Great start to your week. A lot of starts today, isn't it? I love you, Leos. Have a great day.